Hey everybody, before we get really into the 13 colonies and the beginning of the United States or what we now know of as the United States, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about early exploration and new beginnings. And this approximately uh, happened really for the United States or for the Americas in between 1400 and 1600, although early exploration started several hundred years earlier than that. But um, your textbook is going to go a lot deeper into this stuff, but I wanted to give you a general overview of, of the important concepts to really focus on. So the countries that were able to afford um, to send explorers or to send adventurers during this time were France, Spain, Russia, Portugal, and eventually England. So France really uh, explored and they settled in parts of Canada, which is why we have Quebec. Russia was able to um, explore and settle in um, what we now know of as Alaska, which is why the United States eventually was able to buy Alaska from Russia. Um, Portugal did a lot of exploring in southern um, so South America, and specifically, they a lot of them settled in Brazil. And the Spanish were really everywhere. Spain was an incredibly powerful and rich country do, during this time, and they did a lot of exploring and settling in Central, South, and North Americas. England eventually explored. However, they were not as rich during this time as Spain. And I read somewhere that the Queen of England made about a tenth of what the Spanish monarchs did during this time. But really, these adventurers were hired by their monarchs to really search out for riches. And I'm going to go into that in the next slide. So the three main reasons why adventurers set out to explore or why they were hired to do so were for the three main reasons of gold, glory, and God. So gold was not just for gold itself, but any riches. And they were looking for gems, silk, um, natural resources, land, anything that they could bring back or claim for the motherland that would really enrich the motherland and then therefore themselves so that they could make some cash. <laughs> um, they also explore for glory. So glory for the motherland, like claiming land or um, being able to quote unquote discover or um, I don't know, lay claim on, on territory. They were also looking for glory for themselves. So recognition, um, they wanted to be known as um, good at what they did. So become famous. Um, they were also looking for um, reasons for God. So we can break down um, explore, exploration for God in a couple of different ways. So first of all, they were trying to spread Christianity, some of these explorers. And um, they, they realized that in, in many of the places that they were exploring that these quote unquote savages needed to be converted. They needed to know God. They needed to know Christianity. They also, um, many of them were looking for religious freedom, and this is specifically the case for the English. So when the English set out from England, they were looking for places to settle where they were not going to be persecuted. So one very famous explorer who is actually given credit for discovering, quote unquote, um, America was Christopher Columbus. He was an Italian explorer. He was hired by um, Spanish monarchs. Um, in order to find what we now know as Asia, and they called that the Indies. And so he was hired to come and explore. He was given credit for um, discovering America, even though he thought it was um, the Indies, the West Indies. And um, But he, he did an incredible thing for Spain. They were thrilled with his progress. Um, so that is, that's kind of in a nutshell, gold, glory, and God was what people, what the monarchs were looking for during this time. So one important concept is the Columbian exchange. And what you need to understand is that this began during early exploration and it really lasted, the Columbian exchange lasted for many centuries. 
So this map is going to represent um, later stages of the Columbia Exchange because you will see that the arrow leaving the United States um, indicates that the Americas were able to produce sugar, tobacco, and cotton. And this didn't happen really until, um, until later on, but we were able to then export these goods to Europe. And in turn, Europe would use some of these raw materials and create textiles and other goods that could be exported. And they also had rum and other manufactured goods that were able to be exported then to Africa. And then unfortunately, um, African slaves were kidnapped against their will. They were put on ships and they were then um, sent to the Americas. But the Columbian Exchange was also an exchange of ideas, and it also was an exchange of diseases. And so it just it wasn't just about goods and and, and things like that. But it was it was really it, it was it altered the really the world, and and it really made the world a lot smaller. So people started to learn more about other other continents and and things like that so it really was um a way that that people ex expanded their thoughts expanded religion expanded ideas expanded goods um and also a lot of sickness so um jumping forward a little bit um we have the exploration of north america and as i mentioned earlier in this lecture England um, really was exploring and they were looking for goods and they hired Sir, Wal Sir Walter Raleigh to lead an expedition to the eastern seaboard of North America. And he did so in 1584. He set out with about 100 people and he <clears throat> ended up landing on the coast of Virginia. And they established a village called Roanoke and um, they were there for a while and they realized, wow, we're not going to make it. And so Sir Walter Raleigh told um, the villagers that he was going to go back to England. He needed to gain, you know, get more supplies. He was going to get more um, things to help them survive, maybe some money, some, some goods from, from England. And he would return and he was going to return within a year. He ended up not returning for three years. And when he finally got back to Roanoke, Roanoke had completely disappeared um, without a trace. The buildings, the people, everything was, was really gone, which is a testament to how strong Mother Nature is. But um, really, it was gone. It was gone without a trace, um, except for there was a carving in a tree. Um, and I forget what it actually um, said on the tree, but we could easily look it up. But um, and that was an indication that possibly people had moved to a different village, um, but really nothing was ever found. Um, we do know that later on um, in 1608, we had better luck with with uh, Jamestown, Jamestown. Um, and I will get to that in, in the next lecture. But um, but Roanoke was not successful. And um, after an interesting fact about Sir Walter Raleigh, when he returned to England, he was accused <clears throat> later on of treason. He spent time in the London Tower and eventually was executed. So that's just a little bit of, of interesting information about Sir Walter Raleigh. So remember um, the reasons that people explored or were hired to explore were gold, glory, and God. It was richer countries such as France and Spain and eventually England that were able to afford these explorers. And, and then the Columbian exchange is a very, um, very important concept as well. So thank you for listening.